Almost Halloween, and that means time for a lot of spooky things, including zombies. Yeah, and we have a zombie hunter on the loose <laughs> this morning. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis is live with the Zombie with Tumpke experience. So, Bethany, in the last half hour, you had a paintball gun, and you're out searching for zombies. Uh, your instructor was asking for a little bit more gunfire. How do you think you did? You know, um... I think I did okay fighting the zombies. The zombies themselves actually tell me I wasn't too bad of a shot, but I just can't figure out why the sun is not coming up any sooner. It's a little dark and creepy out here. I'm going to take that up with Nick, see if we can't get that fixed before next week. Anyway, this is Amanda Majera who operates the Wetumpka Zombie Experience. There is research out there that shows a huge number of people actually enjoy being scared. They do. <laughs> and paying for that experience. I just can't understand why. <laughs> I think it's more like a video game. Okay. So I think the video game aspect of it brings them out here. But I'm with you. Scary is just kind of not for me either, but people love this. But somehow you don't like scary. Somehow you did come up with the idea to create <laughs> a zombie experience out here in the middle of nowhere, in the woods, on a trail. How did this idea come about? My dad actually created this. Like it was his dream. It was his aspiration and everything. So, and he asked me to take over in 2020. So I took over in COVID. Oh, wow. And I was thinking COVID was going to be really slow. We were blowed out. We were insanely busy because it's out in the woods and you could separate and you could do your six feet and after that it just kind of kept on going and it just got like really really busy yeah well apparently it's something that people really do enjoy so much so that you've decided to stay open even past Halloween yes, yes we'll be open Halloween Friday and Saturday and Saturday's gonna be our last night okay good to know so we can experience the creepy crawly scary <laughs> zombies on Halloween and even beyond apparently a lot of people really enjoy this kind of thing because Halloween's actually the second biggest commercial holiday in the United States americahaunts.com estimates about seven billion dollars a year is what people spend on things like costumes and candy and activities like this for some reason how do the paintball guns fire do you feel like you got off a couple good shots and hit some hit some zombies Yes, I did, actually, and I'm told my aim is actually pretty sharp. Yes. I had no idea. Um, I, I don't know if they rigged the paint guns or not. <laughs> I can't really take any credit for that. It was all reflexes. I just really wanted them to stay away. You did a good job of keeping your composure, and probably a lot safer sending you out there than myself as far as the verbiage going on, so you did a good job. <laughs> I don't think you had to bleep out any of my words, but uh, I... You know, if you could understand the what's happening in the pit of my stomach, yeah. even still after that, uh, it's not pretty. Your thought bubbles could have been dangerous. Bethy, thank you. you. Did a good job out there staying safe and getting rid of some <laughs> of those zombies. If you want to check out that zombie experience, like she mentioned, it goes on both Friday and all the way through Saturday as well. If you want to check that out, we have all the information and a link to their Facebook page on our website. Just go to WSFA.com.